Hey, Kev, how's the book? <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's good. It's good. Boy, some of the emails I get, you know, it, um, here, here. Hey, moron, what do you, no, never mind. We'll delete that one. Um, hi, Kevin, I'm a 14 year, no, no, get rid of that one too. Ah, here's the one. Hey, Kevin, how do I know what to set the amperage at when I'm welding aluminum? What's too hot, what's too cold? Can you help figure that out? Can you help you know, show me what to do there? Okay, so let me show you how to figure that out. Got some of that aluminum tubing here, eighth inch wall, and a great way that I have found to figure out what amperage you're gonna need is, let's just get a test. Let's do a test piece. So I've got my, my machine all set up. I've got my gun all, you know, my torch all set up with my tungsten nice and sharp and clean in it. And let me start out at an amperage, pick one. Now let's try a little bit and we'll look at it and I'll show you what's, well, you know, I'll, I'll point out why I think it's too hot or too cold and we can adjust from there. We'll go up a little bit, do it again. Are we too hot, too cold? Go up, go down, narrow it in that way. And just remember that setting may change a little bit when you go from you know, a horizontal butt joint to uh, a vertical or you know, you're doing a lap joint or you know, it's gonna change a little bit. So you're gonna have to tweak it a little. You're gonna have to practice a little. Get out your scrap again, set up your joint, do a little test piece. Ah, that's what I need, adjust it that way. So let me fire it up. So I've got the machine set at, come here machine. Machine is set at 100 amps. It's on AC. Uh, the um, the AC frequency is at 120 hertz, and the AC balance is at about 25 percent. So let's light it up a little bit and see what we get. So the first thing I see looking at this is, you see these little black specks in here? Uh, well, you know, I, I wire brushed the aluminum, cleaned it off with a stainless brush. The tungsten was freshly ground. It's used, but it was freshly ground. The filler rod was clean, but I still got these little black specks. So I'm going to take that tungsten and get rid of it, because I think that's the problem right there, is that tungsten's probably contaminated. But looking at the weld itself, you can see a little bit of the cleaning effect on either side of the weld. But the weld looks pretty flat across this way. Like it's a little too warm. So I'm going to pull this piece out. I'm going to douse it off in the sink and get it cold again so I can start with a cold piece, just like this one was. And I'll turn the amperage down and we'll run another bead on a different side so we can compare the two of them. Okay, so there's a brand new D3 tungsten, freshly ground, never been used. New side, uh, new side of the aluminum. And all nice and clean and shiny. 75 amps on the machine. Let's try it over here and see what we get. Okay, so here's 75 amps. All the other settings are the same, just with the new tungsten. See how tall this weld is here? Great big old bump. Now, let me flip it over again. See how flat this one is? So just 25 amps difference. So that's how I do it. I take a piece of scrap, I test it. High, low. Closer, 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 closer. Just work it right together until it, it comes out correctly. So let me boost this up to about, oh, I'd say about 88 amps. 
and we'll try it again one more time. What are you going for, though? Are you going for? Uh, I'll, I'll show you on the next well. Uh, then we have three different welds to compare. You can see what too cold, too hot, uh, just about right. So let me cool this off again, reset the machine. We'll run one more. Okay, got your glasses on. Okay, now you can see here, this weld is a little bit flatter. It's not perfectly flat. It's not concave like it's about to blow right through. Like, you know, like it's you know, a big molten puddle and it's just going to fall in. It's got just a little bit of a rise to it. And just you know, go ahead and finish that weld across. Now, let me show you the other two again. So this was 75 amps. That was 88 amps. And that was 100 amps. So I might mess with it just a little more. You know, maybe go 87 amps or 89 amps. You know, get your get your feed rate down. You know, your speed down. How fast you move. How fast you feed it. You know, because with aluminum, it's a lot different than steel. So you have to once you get your puddle started and you start feeding, it's off to the races. You know, you gotta you gotta keep up. You gotta keep going or you're going to have a blowout. Things are going to get carried away. But getting the right amperage, that helps a lot. So in my opinion, you know, to carry on with what I'm doing here, I'm going to set the machine at about 88 amps. You know, I like the way this well looks. Uh, you know, it looks like it's got decent penetration to it. This 75 amp well, you can tell there's not a lot of penetration there. The metal is all humped up sitting on top of your base metal didn't get down in. That 100 amp weld, it was trying to crater. It was trying to blow right through. Way too hot, too flat. That's your big clue. If it's too flat, not enough filler, or way too hot. So that's what I would do. I would set it at about 88 amps. And go to work. So, good way to test. Good way to figure it out on your own. You know, what metal have I got? Get a piece of scrap. You know, I'm working with eighth inch over here, eighth inch aluminum. That's what this is. It just came out of the scrap bucket. So I'm working with the exact same metal. Do your test over here. Where do you need it? Where are all your settings going to be? Do them over here. If you have to, cut it again. Throw it on a chop saw, throw it in the band saw, make another cut, you know, put it back together, test it again till you get your settings just right. Then you can go over your work and get to work over there. Then you know the machine's right. If you have a problem on the work, it's your fault <laughs> or my fault. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to get back to work. You guys are going to have a great day and I'll see you next week. I'm using a, <laughs> well, you gotta love Velcro. <laughs> <laughs>